So before we're gonna talk about the lens that I got, this is a beautiful vintage lens. Let's do one thing. Let's open up my grill and start the chicken. Yes, I'm cooking the chicken. The grill is warming up right now. I have the chicken and on this chicken what I did is cut the two chicken breasts and put a Italian dressing on it. Just marinating it while that thing is warming up. It's been like 15 minutes already. So we'll see how it's gonna go. And I think the chicken gonna come out good, but let's talk about this lens. So this lens, it's so nice. And the pictures on this lens look sick because it's like a vintage and it's called Helios. 442. It's a Russian lens. This lens exactly, I got it. It's 1987. So this is like old lens. You guys can tell that it's no out of focus. It's only manual focus on it. With this manual focus, the only way I can do it on my camera is by using focus picking. So I can see it whenever I'm trying to get focus. I can see exactly what it's getting like on the face or what. It's super hard to take pictures of the kids with this. And it's super easy to take pictures of the objects. But whenever you're taking that, you're gonna get that vignette on the side. Some pictures look good, some pictures you don't want to have that. Look at this, how beautiful it looks. Look at this glass. This glass looks sick. It's huge. This one is f2.0. The caps doesn't hold on the front, on the back. The glass looks clear, no scratches, everything. Like everything looking good. I paid for this lens uh, $60 with the adapter to EF mount. This lens is a different mounting, so you have to get this M42 to EOS adapter. Uh, my camera looks weird with it because it's a this lens M42 to EF and EF to RF. Uh, it's complicated guys, but it takes nice pictures. Let's get this chicken on the grill. Now I need to go get clean a plate. So here are the pictures that I took with this lens a few days ago of my son and like random stuff in here in the backyard. But before that, let's do a b-roll of how I'm cooking this chicken. So yeah, this is my B-roll of the chicken. And now let's look at the pictures that I took. The other reason why I got this lens is because of this swirly background. Do you see how on the portrait of my brother, let's say, everything swirls on the background? But next time I'll go to the mountains, I'll take picture with this. Now, since of the quarantine, you can't really go anywhere. I'm gonna take those pictures with this swirly background so you can see like how the trees and everything behind just like turns. A lot of people don't like this, but I love this. It looks sick, uh, it looks different. It's a different style lens, you know, not everybody gonna love this lens. But I'll tell you this way, you guys gonna love it because you're my subscribers. I'm telling you this. I hope you guys like this lens. My chicken is still cooking. I love this lens. Especially, this is old lens with manual focus. It looks perfect on the new cameras, the EOS R that I have. New technology works good with the vintage lenses. I love the way they look on the portraits because that's how they're supposed to look on the portraits. The portraits should not be sharp. It's supposed to be soft because of the skin colors. 
And anyways, this is the old lens and it makes sense. It's hard to take pictures of the kids with this lens, but to take portraits of the older people or let's say of nature or any objects, perfect lens to do that. I recommend everybody to buy this lens and just use it. It's uh, not because it's a Russian lens, it's just because a lot of people know about it. I mean, 90% of photographers know exactly what this is. And this thing costs like 60 bucks, like I said, with the adapter. That's nothing. You cannot buy these days a good lens for 60 bucks that is gonna take a nice portrait pictures. If you guys like this video, just thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.